How's it going guys? Now we talk about updates on this channel a lot. Over the past couple of years of covering Forza Horizon 5, we've heard about quite a few quite big updates that we've been expecting to have in the game at some point, and to this day, we have never had them. We're gonna talk about five big updates today that were definitely planned for Forza Horizon 5, but may have been canceled. I'm gonna tell you why I think they're canceled and what big updates we may potentially be missing out on. Everything we talk about today might still eventually come. They're not guaranteed to be canceled, but I'll be very surprised just because of how long it's been. Really quick before we do though, here are the five winners of the most recent car pack code giveaway. I have messaged them all. If neither of them reply, I will pick someone else. So make sure to stay subscribed and comment your gamer tag. You'll always be in a chance of winning a car pack at any random point. I'm always giving away them. I have loads of codes still. So let's focus on the first update and it's probably the biggest one of them all, the Eliminator Duos game mode. If you're living under a rock, Forza Horizon 5 obviously have the Eliminator game mode. It's a Battle Royale mode. Well, I think it was almost two years years ago now, there was a duos game mode leaked for the Eliminator called the Eliminati. That was proposed to be the update's name. We know about the existence of this update from the files. We found loads of leaked audio clips that I'll play for you in a second of the commentator in game and a load of leaked features as well, ranging from being able to repair your teammates, spectate your teammates, view your teammates drop zone. There were some exclusive Eliminati rewards along with smashable Eliminati rewards as well that you could pin car drops. There was an exclusive limited edition Eliminator car along with a new Eliminati leveling system. So it definitely seems like quite a beefy update. And it's definitely an update that I think we would have already gotten by now if there was something like this in the works. I think what maybe doesn't help is how unpopular I personally think the Eliminator is. I never really hear about anybody playing it. It's usually quite quiet in the Eliminator. Have a listen to some of these leaked audio clips from this Eliminati update. They're quite interesting. Nice! You know there's a limited edition Eliminator car, right? You haven't seen it yet? Just have to keep playing then, won't you? This is the new Eliminati leveling system! Level up, unlock new starter cars, outfits, and more! And when you win a game, you unlock the Eliminati rewards too! With this you can customize liveries in the Eliminator. I think I'll go with a pizza on my car. Victoria con pepperoni! Please don't take my pepperoni car if you beat me. There you go. So it's a shame, really. It definitely seems like there's already quite a bit of work gone into this update. I think I think it was around June 2022. Nevertheless, it's been a very long time, and I think by now we would have had it. Let me know in the comment section below. Would you be keen to actually get this update? Would it spice things up a little bit? Is it one that you think they should focus on? Or are you not really bothered that we may never get it? Number two, the second one is the drag racing update. Now, we have spoken about this quite a few times as it is a very anticipated update. I know a lot of people liked the idea. Again, this is now over a year ago. All of this information was found in the files by TGR55. There was a new story that revolved around Alejandro and Papa Fernando. It evolved around players drag racing cars from various eras. There was a new drag racing system using the drag zone lights. You know, the lights that are on the drag strip. They were actually functional. There, were, there would have been some sort of marked box area where you start your drag race from. The drag race is also available as a normal race. And there was a few new cars as well found in this same dialogue. The Rimac Nevera, the Hurricane STO and the Camaro Pro Stock. Now, the reason I think this is cancelled is because a lot of other things that were in this sort of drag story update were like the launch control and the new cars, all of which we have now received. When this was leaked, we didn't have the Rimac and we didn't have a Hurricane STO, we didn't have launch control or anti-lag. Now, a few months after this was all leaked, we got launch control in the rally adventure sort of update time. We got the Rimac Nevera and we got the Hurricane STO. So most of the exclusive things from this drag racing update has actually been released. What we haven't got is the actual drag racing itself with the functional lights. Now, I think they probably, again, we might be wrong here, but it seems like they maybe jacked jacked off, I know you said then, sacked off the idea of having a drag racing update with a launch control, with the new cars, and, well, decided not to do it, really. There was a lot of leaked dialogue as well with this drag racing story. All of the scripting seemed to already be done. It was all kind of ready. It seemed to be there, but well over a year later now, we've got some of the little features, but not the actual drag racing story itself. So, now number three, speaking of the Horizon stories, it's a, another drift story. 
over in May, I think, 2022, so almost two years ago now, I think it was Series 6, we got the Drift Club Mexico update, and it was a new story where we could do drifting. I think that was where the electric Mustang was featured as well. Now, what was leaked, again, last year, so a while ago, um, Horizon Drift Club Mexico Part 2. We can see here that the script for this story was leaked as well. Um, same with most of these other leaks, we can see that there was talk about the Ferrari Formula Drift 599, a helicopter actually following you around and, you know, looking at you, taking photographs. Again, a lot of work had obviously gone into this and to this day we still don't have it. Now this is probably maybe one of the likely ones that could still come, but it's been over a year now, as I said, and we've not had a Horizon story in Horizon 5 for a good few months now makes me think that we would have had it. I think this Drift Club Mexico story would have been perfect little addition to one of the most recent updates we've had. So that, unfortunately, on the list of updates that we never got. Number four is Donut Media Part 3. Now, this is a bit of a controversial one because we still could very well get this, but I'm going to tell you why I don't think we will. Honestly, I think it's because of the popularity of it. As we mentioned just a couple of minutes ago, the Donut Media stories, from my point of view, were really not that popular. There wasn't really anything wrong with them, but they really didn't get as much buzz as I think they should have. There was a little bit of a mix-up with the announcement of the Donut Media story as well. If you don't remember, the Donut Media guys themselves actually essentially leaked this update early and told us what we'd be getting within that update. Roll it. Um, you can drive high car, low car, the money pit cars, uh, high truck, low truck, all of our stuff. That is what they said in their podcast. Now, shortly after, they actually deleted this podcast and uploaded it with slightly reworded wording. But what's interesting is in that version I've just showed you, they mentioned that we'll be able to drive high car and low car, which we can, high truck, low truck, the money pit cars, those we have not seen yet. And these, this was mentioned, again, this is another thing that's a year, a year old now. There is a quote at the end of the current Horizon Donut Media story that actually hints at the Baja 1000 being a theme for a Donut Media Part 3 update. But again, it's been so long now, and I think we would have had it by now. If it does exist, we will get the money pit cars and the high truck, low trucks, I'm sure. But will it come at all? I don't know if it will. Number five is actually a mix of a couple of things. It's actually a barn find that was definitely considered at some point and a community event. The barn find itself was found from a new sign language clip that hinted at the Ferrari 288 GTO Evolution from 1986 being a barn find. It has literally barn find in the title. Now, again, to this day, we have never received this. We didn't get it in any of the expansions. It wasn't in the base game. I don't really see how any barn finds are gonna appear in the game from now on. So that was considered and, you know, sacked off, which is a shame. I guess we could still get this car as a normal car, a normal edition within the festival playlist. That's possible, that could be cool. Now, the second bit, as I said, was a community gift event where two really cool cars were also mentioned within the community gift event files, such as the 1910 Fiat Beast of Turin and the 1967 Hearst Shifters Baja Boot. These were supposedly going to work like Secret Santa events. We had a Secret Santa on two of the past two years, so both Christmases we've had a Secret Santa event. We've not had any other community gift events so far. Again, I think this might be one like the barn find that was considered, that was, you know, worked on, but didn't make it to the final base game. Again, it's a shame really, because the Beast of Turin looks like an awesome car. And with things like this, I think because of how cool they are, we would have had them in the game by now. There is a ton more stuff, but in terms of big updates, that is pretty much it. There's a load, there's another Horizon story that's related to a taxi. There's just, just tons of stuff, really. But these are five main big updates that we have been talking about occasionally over the past couple of years, but we've just not received. So maybe we'll never get them. Let me know in the comment section below which one of these five would you like to see the most if we were to ever get them? I'm intrigued to know. Leave a like if you've enjoyed, everyone, and I'll see you all later.